J. Craft with the Facebook group Bowler Out Pickers Lounge. And you know why you're here. I know why I'm here. We're going to try and get through these postal rates as quickly as possible. A lot of big changes happened in 2019 over 2018. And we saw increases across the board with everything from first class, cubic rates, as well as priority. Small discounts happened on Parcel Select with about a 2% reduction, uh, which is going to help just a tiny bit. But in all reality, these are the same rates that we saw at the tail end of 2017, if not still slightly higher than where they were before. Before, but everything across the board is going up, so expect to pay more on all of your packages. Before we get too far into things, I do want to say that the pricing that we're going to be looking at today is called Consumer Pricing Plus, also known as CPP. These are the rates that we're going to be looking at for every single bracket for shipping. If you do not have CPP pricing, the two ways to get it are being a top rated seller if you don't want to go through all that trouble on eBay, or let's just say you're not even an eBay seller at all. What you can do is you can sign up for Pirate Ship. There's going to be a link over here on the side as well as down in the description. It's completely free. You only pay for the postage that you use, and I do ask that you use the link that I provided as that is what helps fund videos like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at first class rates and see what we're in for coming into the new pricing. And just so you know, these rates change on January 27th, 2019. If you're watching this much later in time, I suggest you look in the description and make sure to see that there isn't a newer video available just yet. So on we go. 2019 is full of surprises as we take a look at our first chart this year. We're looking at the first class rates uh, coming into the new year, and boy, is it different. We have zone-based pricing coming to first class for the first time ever, which basically means that the further your package is going away from you, the more that you're going to be paying to send that package out. That's right. So remember the good old days when it was, uh, you know, 266, 279, 312 to be able to ship that package out anywhere in America? Well, those days have come to an end. Now, if you're living in California or sending it all the way to New York, it's going to be zone eight. And if you're in New York, sending it all the way to California, that's also going to be zone eight. So where you live is going to determine what you're going to pay. I do want to point out, I made a very, very comprehensive video explaining zones as well as explaining cubic shipping, which is the next slide that we're going to be looking at. The video is a little bit long winded. It's about a half hour long, but it's going to cover everything that you need to know. So you can get the absolute cheapest rates coming into 2019. The smaller your package is and the, you know, the lower you can bring down that actual weight on the package, maybe reduced, uh, materials or thinner materials as far as packing supplies, you're going to be able to save a ton of money coming into the next year. Like I said, all the rates are going up across the board. So the best thing we can do is try and lower the cost on our end. So as you can see, though, we're looking at about 10 or 20 cents per uh, per ounce increase clean across the board. No reductions in sight anywhere to be seen. And as, as I said, check out the link in the description. You'll see a video that's going to explain fully what zones are, how they work, and how you can use them to, uh, not necessarily to your advantage, but you can at least work the system a little bit to try and save yourself some money. Like I said with the last chart, this is another chart that we went deep into detail on a separate video. Reason is, is cubic shipping is a topic all in its own. If you aren't familiar with what cubic shipping is, it's basically dim ship. We're working with the dimensions of the package more so than the weight of the package. So if you have an item that's one pound or an item that's 20 pounds, it's going to cost the same amount of money to ship anywhere to any zone, regardless of the weight in between. If that sounds wild and crazy to you, check out this lovely information down here. Sign up bit.ly backslash cheap ship, get your free account and you can lower your shipping costs dramatically. There is a full video for this in the description. I strongly recommend you watch it. You do not have to be an eBay seller to take advantage of this. You can have a small business. You can be an Etsy, Posh, Mercari, Prairie Grit seller. It doesn't matter where you sell at. You can use this down here to be able to save yourself a ton of money on shipping. So without going further into the actual changes uh, uh, for, for sellers like yourself, if you're making the conversion over, we can see increases across the board. We're seeing increases of anywhere between about six 60, 70 cents, 30 cents on a couple of them. We are seeing increases, but I still want to clarify to people who are asking, cubic shipping is still the gold standard for shipping, and it's going to remain the cheapest option for sellers coming all the way through 2019. There will not be a cheaper option for domestic sellers. So it's very important you take the time to learn that and uh, utilize it within your business to save yourself some money. And here's one of the important ones that everyone's asking me about as well. There's been a lot of questions. I'm going to do my best to try and answer them. These are the commercial pricing, CPP again, for priority mail flat rate. Now, I do want to clarify a lot of these you will not be using. The reason you're not going to use them is because there is going to be a competitive and cheaper option when it comes to cubic shipping. Whether you're shipping in a box or a bag, it's going to be cheaper most times to not use any of this stuff here. 
Okay, now the only exception that I can really see with that is when we're looking at the top two, when we're looking at our flat rate envelopes and we're looking at our uh, legal flat rate envelopes and maybe our padded as well. Now you can see there has been incremental increases in the prices. Again, we got 60, 60, 65 cents. It's almost a 10% increase in pricing over last year. I'll tell you right now, Okay, I thought that the uh, the padded flat rate was already a good price in 2018. I still consider the 2019 pricing to be very, very fair for what you're able to get out of it. One of the questions I've been asked a lot too, and it's because there was a post that I'm not sure if it actually held up or not regarding the actual dimensions on the padded flat rate and if there was going to be limits on it. It doesn't appear that that is true, but I would say watch out for that coming into the end of 2019 or even the beginning of 2020 if they don't add dimension specifics to the padded flat rate mailers or if we don't see a change in the actual sizing. On top of that, here's our rates for small, medium, and large flat rate. Don't use it, don't use it, and don't use it. Uh, the comparable size for a cubic box is almost always going to be cheaper. 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be the cheapest option. Very, very rare instances when you see something like a Zone 9 where you're going clean out to the edge of Alaska, you know, Guam, uh, Easter Island. You're going someplace that's an American-owned territory and you're going really far out. A flat rate may save you a couple of bucks, but in all reality, we're not going to be using it that much. Let's take a look at the next chart. And here we go. We have priority mail. It's a giant chart that we have here for you. We're showing everything from one pound down to 20 pounds for you. Now, I do want to let you know this chart goes all the way to 70 pounds, which is the maximum weight you can ship by a USPS and a total girth of, I believe, about 96 inches. So Here's the updated chart. We saw marginal increases across the board, anywhere between two to 5% across all sizes. Uh, the zones remain the same, but I do expect those to tighten up coming into the future. But not much really else to say about this. We're gonna have to pay these rates either way. This is something that we all have to use. Uh, like I said though, cubic, when you get the opportunity, should be cheaper than most of these rates, but there is gonna be that off chance when your cubic package is, I don't know, more than 20 pounds or bigger than half a cubic foot where you're gonna be using these rates here. Pretty much gotta pay it. That's pretty much how it is. If you'd like to see the rest of the chart, the you know 21 pounds up to 70 pounds, please visit our Facebook group, facebook.com backslash groups backslash Bolo Rama. Link will be in the description as well. It's completely free to be a part of that and you can help support videos just like this. Let's take a look at our next chart. One of my favorite options for shipping, it is media mail. Boy, do I wish we got to use this more. And I remember when uh, you know some of the first class or even some of the priority rates used to look like this, maybe about 10 years ago. It was really, really nice to be able to save that kind of money. But media mail is a thing for a lot of us still those of you who don't know media mail is very very specific on what you're allowed to ship and i hear questions regarding it all the time jay can i send cds and dvds media mail heck yes you can as long as they're not blank if they're blank you can't use them you can send pretty much any type of media uh, except for video games i know some of you guys try and do that you can't send trading cards you can't send comic books can't send anything that has advertising with it you can send loose leaf paper you can send educational materials you can send magazines here we go we have our new chart for 2019 we have marginal increases across the board but it's not that bad two to three percent increase it's probably one of the smallest gains that we've seen in a little while you're going to see anywhere between nine and 20 cents increased on your packages that are going media mail swallow the cost move on with your life let's move on to the next chart as we move along you'll see that the options that we're going to be looking at are less and less important as we move forward hooray 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 we see a discount coming for the first time on an option in what could be years it's parcel select and why is that it's because parcel select became more expensive than priority on this last increase and no one used it anymore there was just simply not a purpose to because why are you going to send something slower if it's going to cost you more when you could send something for less money and get it there even quicker so i think that this increase to parcel select before was intentional to try and increase the market share for priority and trying to get people used to using it now we're seeing it going down a couple of cents is anyone going to start using it again probably not because there isn't enough of a gap there to justify adding an extra eight to ten days to your actual ship time here's all the rates you're pretty much worrying about zones one through eight and on to the next slide 
this is an important one. A lot of people don't know about this, but this is called Simple Export Rate. It's a uh, discounted international shipping rate provided by Pirate Ship. You cannot get this anywhere else on the internet. It is an exclusive pricing that they have. Here is my link if you'd like to follow it and help us out with what we're doing. You can sign up and get this for free. If you do not see it on your account, send them a message and they will make it available to you. We have seen marginal, very small increases to international rates. And I know what you're thinking. I don't send out international packages. I just use Global Ship Program. Well, here's the thing that we have some big, big changes happening right now with the way that international packages are being handled. China lost their right to use e-packets, and we're going to see those changes happening soon, which means that America is now going to start becoming a very serious competitor within the international market. Now, if you want to sit idly by and do absolutely nothing about it and say, I'm going to continue to use GS GSP, and that's completely fine with me, then do nothing at all. Now, if you want to become a competitive player within the international market and you want to try and move more products to more customers, especially if you want to compete within the domestic market and try and outdo your competitors who are seeing GSP rates, look at these prices, okay? Now, if you're shipping to Canada or Mexico, all the way down here at the end, if you're shipping to Canada or Mexico, you can save an absolute ton of money and you can definitely outdo all of your competitors here domestically. It's very, very important that you consider this as an option, especially if you're the type of seller who's, let's say currently you're doing fifty dollars to $80,000 a year on eBay. Maybe you got a little more coming in on Amazon. You're trying to scale that up. You're trying to get to that six-figure spot. You really want to look into these as it's going to mean a higher attrition rate, higher sell-through rate on all of your items. So definitely something to take a peek at. If you have more questions about that, make sure you reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Uh, next we have Express Mail. How many of you guys sent an Express Mail package last year? Awesome. Next. And again, another chart that we can't do a whole lot with. And the reason I say that is that regional rate, in my opinion, is dead. Not only did they increase the pricing across the board, but there is not currently a regional rate box that is cheaper than sending it cubic. I guarantee you on that. Okay. So your two boxes, you have your A1, A2, your B2, B1, Sounds like a vitamin there for a second. But yeah, you have your boxes, okay? If you were to put up to 20 pounds inside one of those boxes, and let's say it was a vanilla box, it was just a brown box that didn't have the branding on top of it, that would be cheaper to ship cubic than it would be because it's a white box that says regional on it. So there's never gonna be a reason to use a regional box. I did not use one regional box all of 2018 because it didn't save me any money. And that's what we're in this business for, to save and in turn make more money than make you know than everyone else, I suppose. But don't use them, there's no purpose for it. Well, oh yeah, and then here at the bottom, we have a couple more things down here. We have our signature confirmation, and I didn't even know this existed. Did you guys know this existed? Adult signature confirmation. So I guess if you want to make sure it's just not some minor signing off on your package and getting it out the door. That's our 2019 postal rates for uh, starting January 27th, and knowing my luck, it's going to be good for like a month or two before they roll out some more rates. But who knows? If you learned something during this video and you want to help us out, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, send this video to somebody that can benefit from it. Yeah, I don't know, maybe even post it up on a Facebook group so that other people can learn from it. If you really want to be a superstar and you want to help our program, help us grow, we have a Patreon link down below. Make sure you check out the training. Make sure you check out our Facebook group. Make sure you check out that Patreon if you want to help us and one last thing guys you guys might know me from the sunday reseller roundup it, it's a sunday show that happens at 5 p.m pacific standard time where i cover all of the things that happen in the world of uh, reselling as well as answering your questions live on air i'm usually on for about two hours and on top of that i showcase the items that i picked up during the week so if you're like me and you enjoy seeing what other people are buying and selling you appreciate that transparency pop on in check out my show you're going to have an absolute great time. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Thanks for subscribing and liking this video. I truly do appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful day.